All right, so I wanted to do a video on this new Elgato Wave Mic Arm Low Profile. Um, so this is a new product on the market, and I honestly do think it's one of the better ones. I've been doing a lot of research on other mic arms, such as the Rode PSA-1, the Gator Frameworks. Um, what else were there? There was the Blue Compass, and all of them are kind of like, they look like that. They're all uh, not really low profile. They'll definitely obstruct your vision. And also um, some products such as the, this one, the Blue Compass, this one has um, a problem with it where it's, there's um, kind of like a spring mechanism in it. So when you tighten the tension and then it'll basically spring upwards even if you try to tighten it. So no matter what, no matter how much you tighten it, it'll just spring upwards. And that can be very annoying if you're trying to get into a certain position besides the typical L crane shape. A 90 degree angle. Um, the Rode PSA-1 was also another top contender. Um, this one has a lot of flexibility and I do like that. I can just move it as it, however I want it to be. Um, this mount it also seemed like a top contender, but I've heard some build quality issues about it, as well as the Gator Frameworks. Now, honestly, I think the Gator Frameworks was going to be my top contender, but the most, the lowest end one, um, if you look here, that includes an XLR cable that's inside and you cannot remove this. You cannot replace it or remove it without like soldering. And it's such a hassle if your XLR cable ever breaks. And that's usually not an issue. XLR cables are pretty sturdy. Um, but yeah, all those issues, I wanted to be able to replace my cable, have a little cable channel here. So if you look inside, I'm able to put my own uh, cable uh, it's higher quality and then this one just connects by magnets and it's able to go all along the inner part out to here um, I do wish it went like maybe like straight out, but I guess this is I'm pretty sure if I think about it It's probably better like that. And then I just have it going down here. Now. Here's the clamp um, You can pull this if say it's against the wall You can like pull it downwards and then remove it around and then lock it and then you can continue tightening it. So if you want to turn it like this way, so uh, how do I explain that? Like say it's like this part's hitting a wall, you can just lift it down and then reposition it and then keep turning it. And that's really good. Um, looking at the guide, um, it says padded and expandable up to 60 millimeter or 2.4 inches. So that's typically really good. And what else was there in the instructions? Cable management instructions comes with a little, um, yeah, this little thing right here. Now, that's my main problem with this thing. If you look how tiny that is, right? That's so easily to um, over tighten. And then what's it called when your screw becomes uh, damaged and you can't turn it anymore? Um, there's a word for that, but yeah. I'm worried about that. And if you look over here, I can get better. That's where you tighten it. Now, I wouldn't say this is a very um, adjustable product. Like once you tighten it, you should try to keep it in that position. Um, you don't just move it up and down very easily. It's not one of those spring powered mechanisms. Um, it's just the way it is. Um, but this one, what I have right here right now, is I move it with my Shure SM7B and I just move it out of the way when I don't want to use it. Um, and then it's very low profile. I like it like this. Now, previously I did have an InnoGear one. If I pull up the picture of it, like right there. And I was having it in kind of like a crane position, sort of like this picture, but more 90 degrees right here. And that worked pretty well, but again, it would obstruct my vision on my left side of my screen, and then it would drop down in front of me. And that that's just not optimal. This one, it's kind of like as if you were to sit it right here, but again, not blocking your hands when you're playing games or anything. Um, not blocking your typing, it's just very nice. Um, it comes out of the mount right here. This base is solid. Um, this part, you can take it out. This part, you can also take it out, um, and it's just really nice. Uh, but I do, again, stress that um, tightening it with this tiny thing, it's a little worrisome. Um, 
and I have to tighten it really strong. Otherwise the mic will sometimes like slug down. That's my main complaint. But once you tighten it up well, as long as you don't like try to adjust it up and down, it won't loosen. Um, and it's pretty nice, pretty sturdy. I just smoothly turn it like this, smoothly turn it like this. This part also smoothly turns. And that was another problem with the InnoGear product that I had. The part where the um, mic arm connects to the base, that was really terrible. Like, it's like it was not designed for each other. I think whoever manufactured this was taking random parts from China and just kind of putting them together. It's not like a product that's designed to be together. So it was like very loose in the socket. Um, but yeah, this is great. Um, here it comes out, the cable comes out. And then this one, it's supposed to be um, designed around for the SM7B. So they gave you um, this length right here. All of this was included in the product, by the way. Um, that's how you screwed it in for the um, thing. It comes with thread adapters. So no matter what size your uh, mic uses, it'll fit. Um, it has like a little ball head right here. You guys can see that. So it is adjustable. And then um, you could turn it like, I don't want to do it too much, but as you can see, it won't affect the turning. Um, the only problem is if I did want to turn this all the way to uh, like say a 90 degrees where the mic is facing me, then you'll run into an issue where the cable is the problem. But if you want to deal with that, you just got to pull out more cable slack out of the mic arm and should be a non-issue, should. Um, but yeah, this is how I set it up usually. Um, I really like this mic arm. Um, yeah, not too many reviews about it because it's a new product. Oh, uh, yeah. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know and I'll try to answer it. Thanks for watching.